I'm wondering why why are you designing your speakers in this shape? You know, is there a reason for it? Yeah, of course. Um, one reason is to have the minimum um, um, what's the name um, front baffle area. This is one reason. The second reason also for the bending wave, you have no front baffle actually. You it's it's um, you have no reflections reflection points of the front baffle. Okay. That's the way. The second way, because it's bended, um, is to have a um, um, uh, for the time currency. Yeah, yeah, to have it, um, the perfect time um, currency. The second thing why we use on, on the back side the speakers is um, one one thing is to have an impulse compensation of the bus drivers. So we lower through this the distortion in the bus area nearly to one tenth part. So that's why it's uh, impulse compensated, and also the bending wave is um, has a backside radiation. It's open to the back, only mm. the high tones are damped. So to the um, to have a perfect radiation over the whole frequency range, that is also why we use the back drivers. Oliver, can you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, I'm into speakers since I'm 13, 14. I'm into speakers. I'm always designing audio uh, things. At that um, age, 13, 14 years old, you started designing? Yeah, it's, yeah. then I started um, in the field of um, telecommunication technology. Mm. Then I go to Siemens um, uh, as audio. In, in the audio field, we design speakers, audio devices for other companies. And then I thought it was the right time to do my own business. How, how you came into this uh, wave ben bending um, diaphragm? Yeah, I, I, bending I, I learned about bending wave when I was at Siemens. I learned about the bending wave technology. And um, bending wave technology exists as long as normal speakers exist. Because uh, in normal speakers, you want to avoid the frequency when they break up, when they go into breakup mode. And we use this breakup mode in the whole area of the of the audio um, band bandwidth of our drivers so this is um, normal normal um, the most instruments classic instruments are bending wave instruments um, uh, a violin a piano a guitar everything is a, is bending, a, wave is a bending wave instrument mm. because it has strings this is a bending wave Mm. It has a resonant um, uh, um, floor. The piano has a resonant floor. You know this um, this plate, resonant plate. This is a bending wave plate. Um, uh, uh, the corpus of a of a guitar or a violin or cello is it has inside this, this um, um, strengthenings. It's because to sound the violin, so it sounds like a violin. Yeah. It also is a Helmholtz resonator in the deep area, bus area, but it, the most thing why a violin sounds like a violin is because of the bending wave. Because of the bending wave. And that's why we use bending wave as a um, speaker technology. If it existed for so long, how come most manufacturers don't use bending wave uh, theory to design their drivers? Because it's, it's extremely um, um, hard to get to this result. It's, it's, um, you, you have to do many, many, many things. Normally, a speaker ma a manufacturer um, goes to ScanSpeak or a Teal Partner or something ah. and, and buys the speakers, put them in, a, in, a, in an enclosure and says, you who I have a new speaker. <laughs> Tell us more about the wave bending membranes. It's nine layer, the driver. It's, it's nine, nine layers. layers it's it? nine layers. We produce it here. Um, it's laminated. It has a core, a special core material. and. On the core material, on each side, four other layers. The top layer you see is the carbon fiber. Um, it depends. You have uh, what's important is the weight, the characteristics, where how the um, layers are, uh, uh, how the the directivity of the layers are. Um, it's uh, to get an even um, uh, radiation also in the low frequencies through this. The frequency range from. Uh... 300 hertz, correct? You it's told us. 170 hertz. 170 hertz. To 30k. 30k all without with, crossover. Without crossover, all with one driver. All with one driver. It has only a 12 dB high pass in front. 
mm -hmm. and a parallel resonator and something like this um, to, to smoothen the frequency range and to, to adapt the 12 dB um, crossover to work proper. But that's it. No crossover points between, no phase shifting, everything out of one source, everything. Mm -hmm. That makes it so natural and so, so easy to listen. And also so, so, so high speed because the bending wave only works because the wave on the on the surface runs faster than in air um, because I, that, um, this is the way um, let me show you let me hear you, you have idea of paper. 